This is Chinese Whispers ASMR. Welcome to my channel. And as you may see, I have a different mic over here. So today I have decided to use something new. So at the end of this video, I will I would appreciate if you could leave a comment saying which microphone you prefer more this one or the one that I usually use the Neumann okay thank you in advance so for this video I've prepared something different to show you okay um, you might find the information useful or useless but anyway <laughs> let's get started okay so I'm going to talk about Chinese philosophy okay a very major part of Chinese philosophy so I'm going to tell you something about it and I'm going to show you some Chinese characters and maybe even teach you how to write them okay <laughs> so today's let's say lesson is about five elements five elements is um, Chinese philosophy as I already mentioned before used to describe interactions and relationships between things so those five elements are pretty simple you all know them it's wood it's fire it's earth metal and can you guess the last element well done you guessed it right it's water so these five elements are believed to be fundamental elements of everything absolutely everything in the universe between which interactions occur and well each element of those five has its own characteristics associations with different aspects of nature such as directions colors shapes seasons health body parts and so on on and on so i'm going to show you those elements okay so here they are so as you see i have printed out some cards to show you and when i say some you know how many right correct five i'm going to show you five cards they're quite huge and as you may notice each of them marked in a different color so those colors are the main colors which those elements are associated with okay so oh it's actually very nice so they make so the first character 
that, I, that I'm going to show you. I don't know if you could see it. Is Hua. Hua. Okay. And this character means fire. I think it's quite obvious that the color which this element linked with is red. It wouldn't be green or purple. Fire. Okay, so if you know, you might not know it, it's fine, that Chinese characters are written in specific order, okay, you can't just mess around with uh, Chinese characters. You should write them in an order, okay? So I'm going to trace these characters for you and you might enjoy it, I suppose. Okay, so it's the end, then it goes pie, another pie. And na, okay. So repeat after me. Dian, pie, pie, na. So this character is hua, fire. I don't even know how to write it now. Well done to you. The second element that I'm going to show you is Mu. Nice sounds. Okay, so the character Mu. Can you guess what it is? Actually, even the color that this character is associated with can give you a hint. Well done. This is tree or wood. Okay. So even the character itself tells you what it means. Chinese characters are actually very, very interesting to learn. So you may consider that. So just repeat after me. We start with horizontal stroke. Heng. Vertical. Shu. You already know this stroke. It's pie and na. So these things that I name, heng, shu, pie, na, the end, they actually the mm, the general basic Chinese strokes. Okay, so Heng Shu Pie Na. Well done, that was your second element. Yes, and the color is green. Mu Tree. Look at this character. Okay. Actually, <clears throat> the color it should be blue, <laughs> but it's black. And 
this character means water and it's called Shui Shui So let me explain you the stroke order Okay, so we start with this vertical stroke Shu go Shu go so this tiny tail over here at the end is called go horizontal stroke which you already know the name of Hung Pie Pie this one we have another Pie over here Pie at the very end of the character is na. Okay, let's repeat again. Shu go heng pie pie na. This character is called shui shui. And it simply means water. This yellow character, which like this, looks just like plus, right? Or cross. This is two, and it means us. Mm -hmm. So, how you should write it? Always start with the horizontal stroke. Hung Shu Hung Quite simple, only three strokes. And this character is Tuo Tuo Earth. And it's associated with yellow color, which makes sense since soil is brown. element okay. so this character over here can you guess what it means it, it is called Jin and it means metal this element Actually, it can also mean gold, but in this case, in five element theory, we call it metal. Tin. So, as you see, its color is white. Okay. So you start writing it with pie na heng heng shu dian pie and heng Let's repeat it again. Pie na heng heng shu dian pie heng. And this is jin, which means metal. So, you've learned about Chinese five element theory. 
So you may apply it to your life or you might want to start learning characters. Anyway, this video was made to make you relax. And so if it was useful, I'm happy. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, put a like, don't be greedy, <laughs> leave some comments below and um, tell me your th thoughts about this mic. Okay, this is a simple dynamic mic, Noth nothing too fancy, but I think it's quite nice. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for appreciating my work. 